not going to happen tonight. I'm going to disappoint you. Especially when, where I come from is Sweden, we, I, and you, you audition for a big part in a, in a feature or in a TV series or something. I, I, I want them to have time, so I, at least I estimate one hour per person that comes in. So we have the time to first talk with the director and uh, have a cup of coffee and you know, just relax and we can talk about the, everything. And maybe if the actor also have questions about the, the part, the character, they can ask them then. And then we go into the studio. So, so that just that we have time. It's not like a commercial thing when you bring in and out people. I mean, I have actors that come in that have really been working so much with the character. So they have, they bring clothes with them. And they ask, if, is it okay if I change into, because I really feel better. And then say, feel free, do that, if that feels better for you. But it's not necessary for us. But it, if, they, if that makes, makes them comfortable, go ahead. Especially with girls with high heels and how they move. And it could be like that. I mean, when we did, when we did um, now the l latest one is Spectra, we had all these wonderful, great looking women coming in and it was a shitty day. It was snowy and everybody brought in so much snow and, and sand and everything on the office. And I told the rest of the gang in the office, I said, they need to keep their shoes on. Because if we ask them to take off their shoes, they're going to fall apart and they're going to be down to earth and they're not going to be what they want to be for this part. So we were swabbing the floor after every girl coming in, but they kept their shoes on. So, I mean, small things like that can matter. I mean, if you can calm them down, talk, talk about other things. And, um, and if you're well prepared, I mean, you know your lines totally backwards and forwards, or what do you say? So if you know them, you have a comfort in that. There are always nerves in this, but... Um, and we can also see through that. I mean, we can see if, if the actor is not a really good actor, or is it because of he's nervous? If he's really nervous, he can have a second chance, or we can take the time. He can go out and get five minutes if he wants to just... So, yeah. There are so many bad self-tapes uh, I've seen. But, uh, I mean, try to, to make, first of all, that you can hear the actor and that you can see the actor and that you go quite close up the face. So otherwise it's useless because, I mean, you have the time, you can record it so many times, but just and a, a relaxing environment, maybe gray or dark or white wall behind you. Yeah, I mean, a, a natural good headshot that shows you, I mean, no funny costumes, no funny wigs or anything like that, even on, on the show reels and theatre plays when you're looking for a part in a film, it's, it's useless to us. It's difficult to compare the agency system with, with England or America or Germany or, or France. I mean, it's such a much, such much a bigger industry there. We are still quite small. So, um, and sometimes the actors are very pleased with the agent and they see that the agent do a lot of work for them. And other, other times they, they are disappointed. And I mean, they all want to have jobs or get hired. And, uh, and it's very easy to blame it on the agent as well. And, 
maybe they are not right for the part. And also some agents are just sending out their clients to whatever part it is and they, they could be so wrong for the part. And then we have to stop them and say, no, I can't take this guy in for this. It's, it's totally wrong. He's good, but it's not, wrong. it's not right for this part. If an actor has got a really good part, and if he turns up uh, after everything is signed with a good bottle of wine, that's always nice. But, uh, I mean, no, they can't bribe us because we are not the one who decides in the final. It, it is actually the, the, produce, the director, the producers, the people with the money, so um, no, they can't bribe us. I'm trying to, to tell, tell them how it works, because as you say, they, they, they might not understand all the ways and the hierarchy, hierarchy how it goes, so... Um, but after, I mean, and then, then they understand. And they are glad for having the opportunity of me bringing them in in the first place. And that's all I can do. Because I, 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 I'm telling them, you just being here is that I believe in you. I wouldn't have brought you here if, if you were wrong for the part. But it's not now up to me to decide. I think they... They understand it after a while when they never called in for any, any castings. But I mean, I'm, I'm not that evil. I'm, I'm, no, I'm not telling them that I don't think they have a future. They realize that after a while. I mean, if they can't pay the rent, they have food on the table. That's quite obvious. It's hard. I know, it's hard. But they think that we have... I, I do believe sometimes that they think that we have much more power than we actually have. <laughs>